Filers to push really, really heavily. Same thing with something like Soul Stealer. Uh, if you're mid and the other mid goes way to gank, just just push the lane. Uh, especially if you're Ring of the Teacher, it just lets you really dominate towers quite effectively. Uh, that's that's actually a good point. We don't see a, a Ring of the Teacher on the Filer. I believe her team does have somewhere. Yeah, Pyromancer has it. But uh, she she kind of needs it if she wants to push this tower easily in mid, especially with her ult. But, uh, but yeah, we are seeing a crazy amount of denying coming from this Legion team. That's really great to see. It's really important that you get these denies, especially when you're playing against so many ranged heroes. It uh, really kind of limits their experience growth. I mean, being in a tri lane already limits your experience, and on top of that, when you're being denied a ton, it can pull you back quite a bit. Uh, Witch Slayer and Magma's doing a good job kind of giving Flint a little bit more experience than them, obviously, because they're moving around, roaming around quite a bit. Uh, we do see uh, uh, they did actually counter this ward. Uh, that's actually really surprising that they would have put a counter ward up there. Uh, again, I'm the only caster and I'm doing a re I'm just doing a vod, so there's no way there could have been any ghosting. So that's actually a really good uh, ward pick off by the Hellborn team. They've probably researched the games of Elmo. They know where they like to ward, and uh, that's 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 really fantastic. That's the kind of thing that gives you a big edge in these games. Uh, if you manage to do the research, you know where kind of areas they ward in and all of that good stuff. Uh, we are still paused. Again, this is the QQ Ninja Reddit Han Open Tournament. Uh, game 2, last game we saw uh, tanks in real life do a really, really powerful Malik and trialing strategy. Uh, it was really effective. It did quite a lot of damage, and they were managed to carry the game basically from beginning to end. Uh, they kept it even from the beginning, and then it just kind of took away uh, in the middle once they started getting items on Malikin, especially the uh, shrunken head. So I'm not sure they really have a, a hero like that on the Hellborn team this game. You know, uh, something like a, a Flint Beastwood isn't uh, as powerful in the mid-game when he gets one or two items as, say, Malikin, who's really uh, up there in the middle of everything. Uh, that's a good point, actually. Uh, speaking of uh, U.S., this is actually played on European server. Uh, I don't think pause pings. That that was a stupid idea. But I did look at the games, uh, the pings before the game started, and uh, Elmo is actually playing with around 180, 200 ping, which isn't quite at the point where it's unbearable to play. You know, like get to like 250 ping, and it becomes pretty unbearable. But uh, it's not too bad at 180. Uh, Elmo does have around 50 or 60 ping, uh, which is great because last game they had to play with quite a bit of lag, I believe. And uh, they were practicing on the uh, U.S. servers before this game to uh, get a feel for the uh, latency. Because, you know, latency, as long as it's consistent, uh, it's much easier to, to handle. If you're getting lag spikes and it's going like 100, 250, 100, 250, that's, that's very unbearable to play with. But if you have a consistent 250 latency, you can deal with it and you can kind of get a feel for the different timings. Uh, it's the same thing with uh, StarCraft 2 when you see people playing on different servers, you know, US pros playing on the Korean server from the US, things like that. The ping is, is bad, but it's consistently bad, so it's a little bit easier to get a feel for the timings and all that good stuff. Um, I should also mention for this match, they did choose to ban uh, all of the recent heroes. Silhouette, Tremble, and Nomad are all auto-banned, so we did see a little bit more flexibility in the bans. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, you know, uh, Tremble is definitely one of the worst heroes to play against <laughs> in the game, so I understand that one. But I would have liked to see Nomad, and you know, even Silhouette. I feel like Silhouette is uh, uh, definitely a very powerful hero, especially if people aren't familiar with how to play against her. Uh, especially if people let you uh, auto-attack a lot with her, but she's such a fun hero to watch that I'm really looking forward to when she gets played, uh, uh, at, at, you know, in general. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is quite a long pause. I do apologize. Again, I will probably edit it out uh, if I am so inclined. Uh, maybe I'll just actually... Uh, uh, <laughs> maybe I'll stop the recording and pick it up after the pause. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording right here. I will pick it up when the game starts again. Uh, I will be back soon. <laughs>